What it do, chilla gang, 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 gang. What it do, chilla gang? It is your boy Mike'd up back at y'all with another freaking video, guys. Y'all, y'all would have had a video like yesterday, but y'all, I was so. I'm gonna tell y'all why I was so stressed out, and I'm gonna put that clips I had of me being stressed out in my fucking or in this vlog. Like I started the whole vlog and everything, but I lost my prescription glasses. And we went to like four different places. We went to, uh, Swim put up on me. We had went to Target World, which is like a gun range place, right? Then we went to the motorcycle dealership. Then we went to another motorcycle dealership. And then we went to, uh, Bargo, which is like a, it's like a little bar, Wings, Wings Bar Place type, type of thing. Man, I hit Bargos. I, well, I didn't even notice. I had, I didn't have them until like I left Bargos. I was like, "What the fuck? Where my glasses at?" Panicking, instantly hit me. I'm like, "Bro, I, did I have my glasses? I'm on a ring camera. Like, where my glasses at?" I walked out with them. I had on a uh, a regular shirt because it was warmer outside. I had on a regular shirt. You feel me? I walked outside. I seen them. I was like, "I need to see them on my face or something." Type shit. Seen them on my face. I was like, "Oh shit." I done left them somewhere. I'm calling Bargos. They like, we don't see no glasses. We got some red. I think they said like some red ones and they like sunglasses. I said, nah, these ain't my sunglasses. So uh, y'all don't see nothing else? They was like, no, but we can check later. Man, I'm in that bitch for like 30 minutes. Like, y'all gonna check or no? They was like, well, we don't have another lost and found. So this is our only one we got. I was like, God damn it. Then the gun range place, they was already or they they was about to close. So I'm calling. I walked up in there. They was like, well, we don't have no glasses. We got some uh, range glasses that somebody left, but that's all we got. I'm like, damn. Then so I caught the motorcycle dealership. It was Triumph. They said, we haven't found no glasses. No, nothing. Not, nothing glasses. Like, nothing that goes on your face type shit. I'm like, shit. Then United Motorsports, the one that I had just like left before we went to Bargo's, I'm calling them. And then, like, they just not even answering. Then I look up, they should say close. I said, shit. And it wouldn't open on Sunday. Mind you, today is Monday. They didn't open until Monday at 8 at eight a.m. I'm like, shit, bro. If they ain't there, then they in my car. Look, I'm like, I don't look. I, like, I don't really look for shit good. So I'm like, they could be in my car. They might not. I need a little scan. I'm like, D, I don't think these hoes in my car for sure. But then I'm like, if, if, if uh... I'm like, if the the motorcycle place ain't got them, then I, they they in my car. Cause I don't like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nowhere else they could be unless a nigga stole them. And I'm thinking niggas stole my glasses. I'm like, man, I know a nigga that stole my glasses. They come off a free Versace pair of glasses. If I see a nigga with them, I'm taking them. But I'm like, man, it ain't even worth it, bro. I got another pair, but I'm like, that's my prescription pair of glasses. So I'm like, hopefully they there. If they ain't there, then shit, it's over. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to type in his address. There it is. There it is. About to say, like, which one is it? It's that one. Cool. So I'm like, man, if they ain't there, directions are now being sent to your vehicle. Stole my glasses. And like I said, they prescription, so it's not like, you know what I'm saying? 7220, like, Disney Highway. It's not. Is seven and three quarter miles. At it's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like saying, like, if a nigga just stole them, it's like, I can't just replace those glasses. It's like, sap. Like, they ain't just no regular sunglasses. Like, I just got those, like, maybe like two, two, three months ago. And I don't even know if my, they here. They said glasses is here that I could have left. They said, are they prescriptions? And my glasses are prescription only in one lens because my right eye, they had burnt when I had my brain surgery about five, four or five years ago. It was like four or five years ago. I had two in one year. I had two. I had two. I had, it was a two or was it three brain surgeries? It was like, I think it was two. It could have been three. I know I had one one year and then, I, then like that five, I think it was that following. No, it was two in one year. So I, don't, I think it might have been three brain surgeries. I, I might be wrong though, y'all. I got to check in on my dukes. But I know I had that one, and that's when they found, or they had found a, they had, I had a lot, I had hydrocephalus, there's a lot of fluid built up in my brain type shit. So it's like, well, we gotta get rid of that. So they had got rid of it, and then like, I guess more was still accumulating, so 
they had did another brain surgery. It was like right here on my right or yeah, it's on my right side. To y'all, it's my left side, but on my right side, somewhere over here, I got a scar from it. And man, they did that first brain surgery and that fucked me up. Some of my right eye was like, it was like drooping. I got pictures and everything. I don't know if I'm gonna put them in this vlog or I'm gonna just upload them to my, I'm, I'm gonna put them in the vlog probably. I was smacked too, y'all ain't gonna lie. I was like ugly smack. I'm like, damn, I, I was, I was, I was damn bad. Like shit, it is what it is though. Like I'm not, you know, cause they said, damn, they ain't even know how niggas was functioning prop or still. It was like, I mean, that that's that's something serious. You know what I'm saying? Like that ain't no I don't went the wrong way, y'all. God damn it. They was like that ain't no regular, you know what I'm saying? Uh, any brain surgery they said is like You have left the planned route. You know, that's a major surgery. will resume automatically when you return to the route. And I don't know, I don't, I can't remember. updated directions. Please say yes, no, or on, cancel route. Yes. Yes, okay. Updating your route. Directions are now being sent to your vehicle. I love this shit, bro. But yeah, so it was like, they said like any brain surgery, like a major surgery off rip, like this is gonna be a major surgery. They they had to drill into my skull. Did they drill into it or did they saw my skull? I know I, know I got holes in my skull somewhere. Like I know for sure I got holes in my skull. I don't know if they drilled the first time or if they saw, or like if they was like cutting it up or something. But I know the second time they did do the surgery, they definitely drilled into my skull. They, he, uh, my, doc, my surgeon told me that. He was like, we drilled into it for sure the second time. I, I just can't remember the first time if they drilled into it or not. Um, but he's like, any brain surgery, like that's a major surgery. You gonna be out of work for a minute. And that's when I was working at, uh, what was I working at? I don't remember where I was working at when I had my brain surgery. I don't even think I had, did I have a job? I don't even know if I had a job, y'all. Like, anything to that, like, anything leading up to that whole point of me getting that brain surgery or before that brain surgery, I can remember certain bits and pieces, but, like, I can't remember, like, a whole, like, I can't tell you everything type shit. But, yeah, like, he told me, he was like, you ain't gonna, you know, this is the major surgery, so you ain't gonna be able to do nothing. Like, take it easy until, you know, your next scan type shit, which, you know, that wasn't for, like, another month. So, I was, you know, I was just basically in the crib. I was getting fat. Couldn't do nothing, so I, you know, I was doing was eating shit. I was just eating shit up and just getting fat. But then, um, it was not, it was the same year, because that following visit, that's when it was like, uh, it's some extra shit they, they gotta get, they gotta get rid of or something like that. And I remember that one because I woke up and I had like a little, a little it's like a little balloon type ball or whatever. It was on my, uh, it was, it was in my, it was in my motherfucking, like, inside my brain, or, not inside my brain, but like, it's hard for me to explain it, and I ain't got no pic. I do I got a picture of me up? I, I might have a picture, of, uh, a picture of me with the fucking balloon thing or whatever it was next to my head. I don't know. I thought that shit was crazy, but they had to empty that because they had, you know, TMI. But it had like, you know, it kept me feeling with blood on it from my brain, so it was like old blood because they said I had blood from like birth on my brain, like just accumulated over the years. Cause I was having like real bad headaches. I was like, you know, TMI again, but like I was throwing up and shit before school. So this was like school, like I was school age type shit. Which is like, like my last year, maybe, yeah, it was like my last, was it my last? Damn, was it my last year of middle school? Or my first year of high school? I was in high school. I was in high school cause they passed me and I had like all Fs. Cause I was getting passed through because I had that surgery and I was, I was never in school. So it was in high school. I remember that now, because that following year I went to Coleraine. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. So I was in high school, I was like maybe 16, 17? It was something like that. So this is like, you know, I'm 22 now, so this is, yeah, this wasn't even that, too, not too, too long ago, but it was a minute ago type shit. So, uh, yeah, I was like missing hella school. I used to try to do work, but like I couldn't really do work, because you know, I'm in the hospital, I'm at home, I'm like, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm fighting this, you know, whatever the fuck was going on, like my brain was, Technically under fire. That's what when I looked it up. That's what he said. Like that's what it said. Like any brain injury, it's like your brain's un, like on like under fire or on fire or some shit like that. I don't know. But yeah, they was just like you know you can't really do nothing as of right now. Like that's a major surgery. You can't go to school. I don't know if I missed a year of school. I don't. I didn't miss a year of school. It was like maybe like two three months straight. Uh, just no school. Like I was just at home and I was thugging that shit out too. Hey, word, word to my mama. I was, I was at home thugging that shit out. Like I missed school, but I was like, fuck it. Like I'm at home. Them niggas in school struggling right now. The whole time I'm struggling my damn self. I'm in that bitch. Going through it. 
every time I feel like I went to the hospital, it was like, you know, you gotta stay. I get out, go back. It's like you gotta stay again. It was like fuck. Like, when, it was really, it was really on that point. Like when will this shit be over? Type shit. And I remember my last time. Uh, cause the first time they did that shit was when uh I was in there. I was getting an MRI. I'm fuck it, cause then I'm getting myself confused. So it happened because I went to my regular doctor's, and he was like, "Yo, yo, nerves is real, like real, uh, real." flinchy so like my shit used to like he had tap my like you know when they tap your knee at the doctor's office and like they want to see like how far i go out or whatever he said my shit went out way too far and it was way too like jerky he was like that's not a good sign so he had told me to go straight to the doctors which we did and then they was like they was already waiting for us type shit they put me on a gurney or on a whatever i don't know if it's a gurney or stretcher whatever they call it for medical terms but they put me on that and they was just like you know they was asking me questions like are you okay how you feeling, you know, how have you been doing this whole time? Like, how's, how's it been when you was getting those headaches? Cause that's, that's what they meant by my brain was on fire. It was the headaches, like the headaches was killing me. Like, it'd be like a migraine. Cause I could take like, it, I don't know if I took Tylenol, ibuprofen or what. Y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta like, you know what I'm saying? A nigga, a nigga don't know what he used to take. But I used to take some shit to make like my head just stop hurting for at least, you know, Give me some type of comfort, cause like I ain't gonna lie, like I was hope I was helpless. Like it wasn't shit that was really helping me. Uh, so, you know, he was just like, you know, uh, just they was it was a doctor in there. He was like, you know, just relax. Uh, we gonna try to figure out what's going on with you, and we gonna try to get some scans ran on you. And they was running scans. I think they did the CT scan first. They might have did the MRI first, but I know one of the scans they said, well, you got a lot of built up blood on your brain, and they said I think that's what's causing that issue. What is she fucking doing? Yeah, I think they said that's what's causing the blood on your brain or the uh, the stress on your brain because your brain's getting stressed out because it's working too hard. And it was like, uh, so we're going to have to keep you. Which I, At that point, with me going through all that, I knew they were going to have to keep me because, I mean, like you, my regular doctor told me to come straight here. Don't go home. Don't do none of that. You know, don't do left. Go right. You know. So I knew they was gonna have to keep me, but like, I ain't know the severity of it type shit. Like I knew it was serious, but like how serious was it really type, you know? That's really what I was thinking of. Like how serious is this, you know, is this problem that I'm dealing with? Cause I, I was dealing with it for like, like a year straight, just me straight having headaches type shit. And I just stuck it out. You have left the planned route. Directions will resume automatically when you return to the route. Do you I need will, updated directions? Please yes. say yes, no, or cancel route. Yes. Yes. Okay. But yeah, like Updating you know, um, they was. I don't even remember what I was saying. Now being sent shit to your like vehicle. talking over me type shit. Uh, but uh, what was I saying, y'all? Long story short, the doctor was like, he was like, yeah, like you know, your brain is working way too hard. It shouldn't be working as hard as it's working. So you're straight, you're stressing yourself out, but you, or not yourself, like your brain is stressing itself out. So they was like, we're gonna have to keep you, of course. Ain't no going home, you know. They got me in like a, what what they call the gowns, the hospital gowns. I'm just call it a, a, a robe. Cause you know, the one with the ass out. They had me in one of those, like, you know what I'm saying? They was just like, you know, just relax. Anything you need, we'll get it for you. Don't do too much, don't do too less. Why this shit making me go into a goddamn apartment building, cuz? Like what? You have left that the planned route. Building. Directions will resume up. automatically when you return to the route. Hey, this shit Do you need working. updated directions? Please say yes, no, or cancel route. Yes. Yes. Okay. Updating your route. Directions are now being sent to your vehicle. I know where I'm at now. I don't need to see any how to do all that no more. But yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? He was just like, you know, it's a very serious injury that you got. It was like, you know, if you've been able to make it this far with just Tylenol, whatever I was taking. Like I said, I don't remember what exactly I was taking. But I know I was taking something crazy. It was like, I mean, that that's good that you were able to, like, rest with just taking whatever you was taking. Uh, they said, because it was like, this, this is a really serious injury. Like, this is like the cytocephalus. Plus, they had found a brain tumor. And I think that's what made them scared or whatever. Like, that brain tumor is, you know, that... No, but we, we didn't even know I had a brain tumor until like that moment when they did that scan and then they found it. It was like, yeah, you got a brain tumor on your stem or on your brain stem because that's where it's at. 
and they said we can't get to it so we don't know if it's cancerous or not which to this day we still don't know if it's cancerous or not so they do mris now it's every year once every year but before it was like every every three months i had to do an mri so it was like what is it 12 months in a year 12 divided by three that's what nine no that's not that's not that's not nine so I can't even do. I can't even do. You are arriving right at now. your destination. Driving directions will end. But y'all know what I'm saying. Like it was just like it was just a big issue with the going back and forth with the doctors trying to figure out what's going on. Then like they giving me. I was on steroids. I mean that that's what was making me fat was the steroids. I wasn't doing shit. I was just at home taking steroids, and it wasn't a muscle type steroids. It was just like regular fat. Nigga steroids. I was just taking steroids and it was making me big type shit and that's what was making me you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I got hella pictures and I had an eye patch for like a week, I think. No, I was longer than a week because I was I was fucked up. It was right after my surgery, I started wearing an eye patch. It was way it was way longer than a week. But we have to figure that we have to finish that when we get back in the car. Cause we just got up to this United Motorsports. I'm gonna show you how this bike they got too. This bike they got pressure. This if it's still in here, if a nigga ain't buy it yet, cause hey, this motherfucker raw. Um, uh, <clears throat> but let me let me just start the video off right, cause I'm tripping. If you're just watching this video, hey, make sure you like the video, you subscribe, you comment on the channel, and you let me know. Or, I'm tripping. Make sure you like the video. Fuck, bro. I can't talk or nothing today. I've been doing this all day. Make sure you like the video. You comment, you subscribe to the channel, you let me know. I don't, hey, look, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, turn on post notifications. Hey, it's your boy Mike Tubb listening to this video. Chilling gang. They got some bikes out here, though. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, like, I'm really a bike life type nigga, but it's a little brick outside today. I ain't gonna lie. I couldn't, I couldn't do this. I couldn't handle a bike and be riding out here like this. They call these, I think these are hyper bikes or naked bikes. These is naked bikes. I'm gonna say they naked bikes. I I don't know the fucking terms for it. It's a Zuki too. I like this blue. Fucking nasty. Me and Twins is up here like, yeah, on Saturday. That's when I lost my motherfucking glasses. I'm about to go in and see if they in here. They said they got some glasses in here that's gold or Versace. And I got Versace glasses, so it's like, I know these mine for sure. I wouldn't get one of these though, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't. I, I want I some shit with a front, like with a face on it. I don't even mind that part no more. I, I could get a bike with that. But like, I, I want. I want some shit with a face on it, like with a whole face. That shit ain't got no face, so I ain't gonna be fucking with it. But your boy bike life now, like word two. This green pressure on this though. It's kind of like that green that's in that one, but I think this might be a tad bit lighter than the one that's in there. If they still got it, they might not even have it no more. So we gonna have to figure that out. This motherfucking green, nice. Only if it wasn't no naked bike. What is it, 30? What is that, the 300? I don't know what this is. But the orange machine, orange. Oh, this one got that visor. I hate how this other, these other two ain't got the visors on them. Dirt bikes and shit. Dirt bike life. I ain't fucking with no dirt bikes. I get an I get an ACV though. Oh, this is a mountain bike. Oh, this is a mountain bike. Yeah, look at that. The clutch is shit. That's a brake. It's dirty. Here go the clutch. The clutch is just like the brake on this. I like this stuff. My camera already zoomed out? Nah. Alright, but. I like how they got the screens on these now. Hey, them screens are crazy. I'm telling y'all. Them screens on these go crazy. Super crazy. Put my screen now. They go super crazy. We about to go in here and see. I like this blue. This blue go crazy too. This blue go crazy too. This is 160 or 150. What is this a Harley? Is this a Harley or what? I don't think this is a Harley. No, this is a Boulevard. Suzuki. This blue is nasty. 
That like it ain't the same blue. Is that the same? I don't. Know. Is that the same blue as this? Is that a, that's a Suzuki though? Ain't it a Suzuki or a Suzuki? Yeah. So that's the same blue. It's just on a on a bigger bike. M one hundred nine R. This motherfucker chunky. It's a big bike. Thought it was a Harley at first. I like the headlight. Now I ride one of these. But those, no sir. No sir. I can't ride one of those. Hell. No sir. They got the eight, they got the side by sides. Come get y'all one. They're good peoples. I will get a side by side. I, got, I need a pickup truck though to tow it. And I got it got a massive pickup truck. Hey, our kids want one. They got one for the kids too. <laughs> Come get them. Come get it. What'd you say? Oh yeah. Yep. In accordance with the state law, we are required to verify that date of birth for minors or persons appearing to be minors before the sale of any machine. Oh, they come with a helmet too, or is that just there? That one, oh, they both got two. I think, they, yeah, these might really be kids. Or I know these kids for sure, but like, they might sell the helmets just with it. That's crazy. That's raw. They got the ATVs and shit too. Big boys. I get a Polaris, but I don't know. I don't. I don't really fuck with the players is like that. I'm a motorcycle guy, not an ATV guy. Give me a street one. But no, we got to go and see what, what the, where the fuck these glasses is. We do need these glasses. And they still got that bike here too. I need that bike. How are you? Good, how you doing? Doing good. You were in here the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you. This is the bike I'm talking about right here. This is the bike I'm talking about right here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is nasty too. Why I got that other bike I just touched? M4. That's a ooh, this motherfucking nasty. I should record it and we'll move around. This motherfucker lab. Super lab. They got hella custom work done to it. These fold out. I don't know how they fold out, but they fold out. They mirrors. We got this shit. This mirror, this window, this window shit go crazy too. And you see through it, smoked out, black on black, painted. This what I'm gonna get though, I'm gonna get this. This is that kind of bike. 636, same one twin guys, just in green. I think this is 2024. I think it's like a 2022, 2023. ZF6R. Quick question for y'all. Yes. I had left some glasses up here on Saturday. Did y'all, I know they said they were here, but do y'all know whether I would go about that? They left some what? Some glasses. Glasses? I'm checking with the guys over at the party. Yeah, we didn't collect any over here, but um. Uh, okay. Hold on, is that? What did it look like? There we go. Like prescriptions. Oh, no. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, Parts no. Parts or service. Both of those counters, I would check with those guys. Okay. See what they say. Okay, appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. I don't, I'm not a dirt bike guy. I am not a dirt bike guy. They got another R1 too. This R1 go crazy. This motherfucker fast, super fast. Mm, mm, mm. And they got the boost over here too. Next year, y'all, we hopping bike next year. R7. This is a beginner bike, they said. We need that green motherfucker. That green motherfucker goes stupid.
Oh, my friend. This my friend is stupid. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, let me show you how the headlights do it. Shit goes stupid. This motherfucker go nasty. Oh my god. I don't like how, how far out these go though. Them turn signals, I don't like that. That's why I might go ZX. 6R. You said what? Man, I left my glasses up here uh, on Saturday. Yeah, they like glow prescri or gold prescription glasses. So I'm going up here to get those. Yeah, yeah. I called. They said they were here. Let me see. I'm a high stupid. Oh, that's my sales guy. If I, when I buy a bike, I'm, buying, I'm coming here to buy one from him. This is black on black on Nancy, too. Or seven. And they talking about don't sell it no 600, but it's like, I also read that you can put it in like a low gear mode. So I verified that. So I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna get the 600, put it in low gear mode. Got the big booster. That's the parts and service right there. This bitch nasty. These motherfuckers heavy too. I heard these like sets, like 700 pounds. You drop this, you gonna have a problem getting this back up. Shotgun exhaust. Whew, shit. I need me a booster though, y'all. I'm gonna get one eventually. Mm, mm. Service at 600 miles. I don't even guess. Wait, how many miles is on here? I don't know how many miles is on here. Look at this hair like. This hair like a stupid on this. Mm, 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 I need it. I ain't there yet, though. In a few years. Give me a few years. They, and they, they call this a leader bike. And leader bikes is like the fastest bikes. They take off in straightaways real quick. They race those kind of bikes. So, you know. But let me see about these asses all over here. How you doing, big dog? Yeah. I had called up here about some gold glasses that I had left here. Hey, anybody call up here about some glasses that I got left here? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Oh, they got the bicycles in here, too. Yeah, so these are naked. That's what I mean by the naked bikes. Like, without the face on there or nothing. Yeah. And then these... Hold on. So this all naked, like you feel me, hyper bikes type. Well, not hyper, but like naked bikes. This is what I mean by the bikes with the faces, like this shit right here. I like bikes with this, with all this shit. The bikes that ain't got this, I just don't want to ride. Needs a weak bombs are heavy, just vomit on the sweater already. Mom, spaghetti, you nervous. Now I need to get a helmet too, but. We're gonna have to figure that out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need like a 4 XL or something. Me and Twin was up here looking. I don't want one of these. <laughs> I don't want one of these. These is ugly. I don't want one of these. Probably something that matched the bike, for real, for real. So, if like, I get a blue bike. Versace's. Alright, what color? Like gold in color. Like something like. Like, if I get a blue bike. Something like that blue, get a green one. Something like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, my guy. No problem. Something like that. Red. Which I really might go red for the bike. I don't know yet. Something like that. Yes, sir. Ski. See, I need to buy some. I got. I need to get some gloves, too, but I don't want all my shit to, like, match. LS2. Yes, sir, ski. <laughs> yes, sir, ski. Bringing these vlogs back. Take that little hiatus. Y'all know why, though. Well, y'all gonna see when I upload that other. Ooh, this bitch nasty. I don't, I don't give a fuck what kind of little bike I get. I need this helmet. 
this motherfucker nasty, nasty. But I feel like right now, we only, it's about to be winter time, so I'm gonna need to look at bikes right now. Unless we're gonna buy one. That green one I really do want, but they want 11 for it. Uh, I'd probably get an all black one. I really want an all black one. I don't really want no green color. I don't know, we're gonna have to figure it out what color I really want. Like, I like the black look type shit. I like this look. But I don't want an R1. This motherfucker, 1000 CC. <laughs> cool. Well, we about to get up out of here, y'all. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm about to look. Kitty uh, ATVs and dirt bikes. Feel me? That blue. That's turn, that blue turn, that's like an indigo blue, too. Cyan blue, or like mint green, whatever. Just like kid, kid. Those are like the younger kids, like the, they getting older type shit, like maybe 13, 14, 15. It's like a cyan blue, kind of like match type shit. Indigo, indigo, you feel me? The dirt bikes. But yeah, we about to get up out of here. Cause, fuck that. Have a good day, man. You too, you too. I don't know, we gonna have to figure it out. As for what bike I really want, I really want to go Suzuki, or I don't, I really want to go uh, like Kawasaki, which I think I am going with Kawasaki. But then again, it's like, I know they got other bikes out there too. So I was like, what do I want to go? As far as that goes of right now, I don't know. So I'm not really too, I'm not really big on looking right now, because like I said, it's about to be winter time. I can wait till next year and get something, maybe a year or two old. I want something with the screen on it, with the digital dash. A lot of them older bikes ain't got digital dashes, so it's like, I don't know. We just have to figure that shit out. Once we get there, to actually buying a bike type shit. So I'm trying to do this. I need to, I need to do this first. <laughs> Once I get my truck and trailer, it's over. But nah, we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna hold off on a bike for right now, because like I said, it's not car, it's not motorcycle season no more. It's brick as fuck right now. If I'm being real with y'all, like it's, it's freezing outside. I need the jacket, but. We got our glasses. About to put these bitches on. Okay, oh, fuck that. Niggas can't see. Oh shit, I'm tripping. There we go. Your boy can see again. Out of my right eye, cause it's only my right eye with the prescriptions. You feel me? These before I didn't have no prescriptions in them, but I said fuck that, I need some glasses. They just had to charge me like 300. But we about to get up out of here. We about to go back to the crib, relax. Probably see if I could put all these videos together. So if I don't end up making this video, y'all, I'm going to close the video out here. I appreciate y'all. Listen. That little hiatus break, y'all, that shit was... We're gonna talk about that, actually. Because I don't know if it's in that other video if I talked about it. So we're gonna talk about that shit. Hold on. But that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I think I did talk about it, but I'm gonna just touch on it then. I'm pretty sure I did talk about it. Now I'm thinking about it. I know I talked about it. For sure. Boy, I thought that truck was moving backwards. I about to say, oh, shit, he ain't put his parking brake down. Nick's tripping. Let me put my GPS and shit on. I knew I left these motherfuckers somewhere, y'all. I was pissed. I got him. I, man, I was on him. I was like, what the, where the fuck is my glasses, bro? I was like, man, I lost my glasses. It's so, it's, I'm cooked. They about to cook me when I get home. I was like, shit. Um, I lose, and I lose everything, y'all. If y'all knew me in person, I lose everything. Word too. I lose my brain if it wasn't in my body. It's one fifty. It's one forty six. I'm gonna get home at two o'clock. God damn it! But yeah, we gonna talk about that little break hiatus. I feel like that was like you know, usually I just take breaks. So I just wanna take a break. But like that was crazy. That was like I feel like that was a break that like I really had to figure out like figure out like you know what type shit do I really want to continue with this shit or what. Because this shit, you know, that was the first, you know, big issue that came up when I took the break was, you know, my YouTube channel. That's what was the highlight of it, was why, of why I took the break, you know. 
So basically, like I said, I think I touched on it before. I'm gonna touch on it again because I don't remember. Fucking, you know, tumor problem. Tumor problems. But uh, you know, it was a certain issue that popped up when we had take my little brother to school. Um and uh my YouTube channel was a big part of it. And you know, that really threw me off because I was like, well damn, I'm trying to record my little brother, you know, going off to college, you know. This is a one in a lifetime type thing, and you know, it's getting through back in my face because now it's like if I want to record it, then you know what I'm saying. You not communicating your 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 actions with your significant other, it would have been you know a no issue type thing, and it's always been issues like with my mama and them type shit. But I'm always having my mama because that's my fucking mama. I'm like you know what I'm saying. Like that's my dude. So I'm gonna go up and side with her before I side with anybody else, right or wrong. But you know that shit I popped off and. It was just a lot of shit going on. I was like, man, listen, I need a little break. Get my head together. But even then, during that little break, I was like, like, do I, like, is it really me or is it them for this? Like, I don't think it was my fault about that situation, what happened. Like I said, I, I ain't going to bash that person or none of that because, you know, they was, they was still, you know, they still family. So it was like, you know, it is what it is type shit. But, um, you know. I was like, more or less, like, you know, that shit was fucked up. Like, now I feel like I did something wrong because I put you on my platform, on my YouTube channel, and it's like, because you didn't communicate that. Now it's getting put back in my face, and it's like, well, damn. Did I fuck up, or did you really fuck up? And, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I'll really, you know, build back strong with this person. Like, like I said, they've been there since day one, but it's like... Yeah, you've been there, but you just did this weird shit, and now I feel a certain way about it. And, you know, you know when shit ain't sincere. Because they apologize, but I was like, man, you just saying that shit because, you know, you just want to make everything crystal clean again. It's like, bro, you, you if anything anything that revolves around my mama being, around my mama being disrespected, that we had never be cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, it had never, we had never be back a hundred like and even y'all can even like she used to about to be like boy you you love so and so anything they say you would do and she was right because like i said that that person was like a certain someone who i was really like you know i was around them growing up type shit so it was like it was always gonna be that but just hearing them you know talking crazy and then they talk crazy to me and i was like shit i'm a grown-ass man i ain't no kid you ain't finna talk crazy to me I don't give a fuck about what's going on. I'm a grown ass man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, I'm a grown ass man. Like I'm not, I'm 22. I ain't no 17 year old. I ain't 16, 15, you know, I ain't no teenager no more. None of that. I pay bills now. So it's like, I'm a grown ass man. You are not finna talk to me like you crazy. Cause at that point now I feel like I'm being disrespected. You know, but then that's for anybody. Like my nigga, I'm grown, you grown. Don't do that. Cause it, it could be a bigger issue than really what it is. And you was only doing that to save your side. And which is which is understandable, because that's your side. That's where you be. That's where you reside. That's understandable. But don't fuck up shit over here because you you that side telling you, you know, you you this or you that or whatever. Like, my nigga, get your ass back, cuz. I hate when niggas try to race up. Like I'm I'm gonna get over, cuz I'm gonna get over. I'm gonna get up. But yeah, like, don't fuck up over here because you mad and about some shit that happened in your household. Like, my little brother just graduated. Ain't shit about to go wrong when my little brother graduated. And I'm gonna make sure of that because, I mean, or, yeah, like, he just graduated. Then he just, he's in college. Like, I have to make sure shit go wrong. Like, he only get to go to college one time as a, you know, a sincere, honest, truthful time. Like, I'm gonna make sure my little nigga happy. Granted, it didn't happen in front of him, which I I, I respect that, because it shouldn't have. But it shouldn't happen at all. It's like, my nigga, regardless or not, my nigga, you know what we was here for. If, if they can't get it through their head of why we was here, then that's an issue. Regardless of who they think, what they think was going on, because, listen, we wasn't here for none of that extra shit. We was here for my brother and my brother only. We literally, we, 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 we packed up Got the rental, 
went all the way up to this college, chilled with him for a few hours, got him moved in, came back. Like, it wasn't none of that extra shit. Like, it, it, none of that extra shit even needed to happen. If y'all couldn't hash that shit out, don't put this side into it, because then, as soon as y'all start tripping, I'm gonna start tripping, and I don't wanna trip out. Because I ain't going to say I'm going to crash out, but like I be like when it comes to my dukes, I'm going to crash out. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who it is. Like, my dukes, she, she going to forever have that, you know what I'm saying? That bone. And when somebody fuck with that bone, I'm always, you know, be on that type of timing with them. Like, my nigga, that's my mama. I ain't going to never let no nigga or no, no female or nobody ever disrespect her. You ain't know what we done been through. You ain't know what she done been through. My nigga, relax, because that's why I get mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. But yeah, like, it was just that certain bone that they hit, and I was like, bro, you ain't finna, like, and I, it, I wouldn't even know no wreck shit. Like, I was just like, you know, like, what's going on? And they started tripping. And then that's when I was like, you know what, my nigga, I don't need, we ain't gotta speak no more, because it is what it is. It is what it is. Like, I done tried and tried and tried again and you still trip out over the smallest shit. That, that this shit ain't even really even worth it. And I, I made my decision. I was like, you know, I'm a brown ass man. So yeah, yeah. from this point on, I got to keep you at a distance because now you, 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 you putting shit in jeopardy because you're crashing out over some small shit that y'all can just hash that shit out between yourselves. If y'all ain't got no, no, no backbone, for that shit y'all got going on over there, then maybe y'all don't have shit going on over there and y'all need to figure out what's next for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't try to bring my mama up, me, or my, my, my little brother, or none of that in there. Because we great. We good. We don't, like, our household be straight. But it's just like, little shit like that pisses me off. But again, like I said, I, I ain't got nothing but love for that person. Like, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? You was there. You still in my like you know you still was in my life at certain points so I just like I can't just be like fuck that fuck fuck that situation and you know f them too I'm not I ain't need that type of nigga like I'm always like you know what I'm saying be there plus I got siblings so it's like my siblings they, I don't want them to feel a certain way about shit like that over there but issues like that always happen starting from over there and then they bring it over here and it's like my nigga y'all ain't gonna keep doing that. Cause at this point, I'm grown. I, I I be cutting niggas off left and right, my nigga. You that that shit don't mean shit to me. Especially like I said, when it revolve around my dukes, that shit ain't nothing. Mental peace. I be wanting mental peace, mental health is wealth. If your mental health is good, you're great. You feel me? Like if, it ain't, if I ain't got good mental health, maybe you just not good for me. Or 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 the household. You just need to you know we just need to remove ourselves from you. Maybe it's a new thing, because you keep bringing shit up, and, and you keep starting shit, so now it's like, you is the problem, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I, and I've been having a mentality with a lot of niggas and a lot of people just recently, like, you know what I'm saying, it ain't no, it ain't no funny, no iffy shit or nothing like that, it's like, bro, if you're not bringing me no value in my life, why am I even talking to you, cuz, you're not bringing me no value, you're, you're doing more damage than you are good for me. So it's like, I'm not going to talk to you every day. We ain't got to kick it or none of that. You see me? If I see you, I'm going to say, what's up? You know what I'm saying? But if we ain't going to, I ain't finna go out my way to talk to you. So did you, you know, shit keeps sparking up. And I don't want, I don't want shit to keep sparking up. But then we getting thrown, thrown, thrown into some shit that we ain't got nothing to do with. Like, that ain't got shit to do with this side, of, like this side. And you know what I'm saying? Instead of you building better with the shit that you done had broken for so long, you keep continuing to break shit. And it's like, ah, my nigga, we can't, I can't help you no more. I tried, I tried, I tried. Try, I've been trying since I was fucking eight, eight years old to help. Shit, shit, I'm 22. Shit, shit just ain't working. That's what? 10? 10. Nigga, that's, third, that's 12 years. I'm not finna keep trying, cuz. I done tried for 12 years just to make sure you was good. I'm about to make sure my side's good, bro. Like, moral of the story, I just feel like if shit ain't...